Here's an interesting article here. Black couple rented to a Chinese American family when nobody would. Now they donated five million dollars to black community. In 1939, the Downs, a Chinese American family in Coronado, California, found themselves unable to rent a house and make racially restrictive housing laws that favored white buyers and renters. Emma and Gus Thompson, a black entrepreneurial couple in town, allowed the family to rent and eventually buy their Coronado property when nobody else would. Now, to thank the Thompsons for helping them get a toehold in American society, the Downs have donated $5 million to black college students using proceeds from the sale of the house. It may enable some kids to go and flourish in college that might not have been able to otherwise, Janice Down, 86, said about the plan to sell the family home. They later purchased, as well as an adjacent property. The Down family will also work to have San Diego State University Black Resource Center named after Emma and Goss who was born into slavery in Kentucky. That's interesting, right? Not name after them, but name after the people <laughs> who rented to them. Lloyd Down Jr., 81, said the Thompsons gave their family a stat with the land and it's time for them to do the same for others. Without them, we would not have had the education and everything else. Lloyd Down Jr. said, uh, there's a Down family uh, photo from 1955, right there. The Down family's Coronado property includes the Down's original home at 832C Avenue in an eight-unit apartment complex next door. Family members estimate the combined value to be worth $8 million. Lloyd Down Jr. and his older brother, Ron Down, plan to donate their portions $5 million. Amid the backdrop of a national conversation about reparations, this isn't a story about atonement and repair, said Kevin Ashley, a Coronado historian. The Thompson's gesture was a transaction with no strings attached. The Downs didn't have anything to pay back. Instead, Ashley said, the story is about honoring and recognizing the enduring impact of one family will to help another get ahead. As the country continues to debate the merits and logistics of reparation for its history of Ch Chateau Slavery, the Down family decision to give back to the black community could serve as an example, he said. Run Down and his wife, Janet Down, are both retired teachers who believe that education can change lives. It's just exactly what's appropriate, Run Down 86 said. And here's the rest of the story here. I'm going to put the link to that right there. That's interesting. The Down Family Home. The Single Family Home on 832C Avenue. So there you have it. And keep in mind, too, uh, back in those days. What was this? 19, 1939, you still had the Chinese Exclusion Act, you know? Back then, uh, you couldn't just immigrate from China to come here. You see? I have no idea whether they had immigrated or whether they were born here in California. But back then, um, because of the law passed in 1882, it made it very nearly impossible 
for Chinese to enter the United States and until it was around uh, sometime in World War II when that law was abolished because uh, the United States went to war against Japan and the way you can uh, carry out military operations against Japan <laughs> Back in those days, they didn't have those kind of planes now, you know, like you have in the carriers where you could take off and land. You see the Navy do, they didn't have those in those days. So once you take off on a regular plane, if you go on a bombing mission over Tokyo, in order to land, you couldn't, you couldn't land in the car. You had to land somewhere and it usually was in China. So they had to land in Chinese soil. So that's one reason they changed our law. <laughs> because they needed to use Chinese uh, land to land their planes.